there, I'm Liz from the WQED education team and I'm here today with the Kratt Brothers. The Wildcrats travel all around the world discovering all different kinds of animals, the places they live, and what their creature superpowers are. And every creature that they meet can do something special. Today, I thought we would talk about one of the birds that they discovered on their travels, the hummingbird. Did you know that the hummingbird is one of the smallest birds in the world? But its superpower is that it is one of the best pollinators you can find. And a pollinator is something that helps the flowers grow. So I thought today we would make a bird feeder that can help attract these super pollinators to your garden. To make your bird feeder, you need an empty squeeze type of bottle, some rubber bands, uh, yarn or ribbon, some cotton balls, and some flowers. You can either use real ones or silk flowers, depending on what you'd like to use with your bird feeder. And then to make your hummingbird food, you need a cup of water and a quarter cup of sugar. Let's make our hummingbird food first. So we're gonna take our quarter cup of sugar and pour it in to the water. And then we gotta mix it up so it can dissolve. So we'll give it a little bit of a mix there. Mix it around. And then we're going to set this over to the side while we make our hummingbird feeder. All right, so taking our empty bottle and we're just gonna recycle one. And when you recycle something, that means you take something old and turn it into something new. So we're gonna take that empty bottle and first put one rubber band around the middle. Just like that. And then we need to get our string or our yarn and we're gonna tie that around the rubber band. This is what we're gonna use to hang our hummingbird feeder outside. We'll tie it on one side and then tie it on the other side. It's just a little knot will do. And once you have your string tied around your bottle, then you're gonna add some more rubber bands. And those rubber bands are what are going to hold our flowers in place. Put one more on. I think we got, got a good amount there. All right. Then add your flowers to your bottle. And you can use as many or as few as you'd like but the more flowers and the more colorful it is, the more it will attract those hummingbirds. So I picked my favorite colors, which are pink and purple, but you can use any color flowers that you'd like. Just put them all around your bottle. You can put them on the front, on the back, and on the sides if you want. Another one, these white ones. All right, I think that looks like a good amount of flowers on there. Now we need to add our hummingbird food. Now, depending on the type of bottle you have, you can either unscrew the lid off of the top of your bottle, or if it's a bottle like mine where the lid doesn't come off, you need to use a funnel. So I'm gonna put that funnel in there. And then I'm gonna add my hummingbird food. Just carefully fill that bottle. Put it all in there. That looks pretty good. All right. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to add our cotton ball to the top of the bottle. Because if we took our hummingbird feeder outside and we turned it upside down and there wasn't that cotton ball in there, all of our food would just pour out. So take your cotton ball, and this is gonna be like our stopper. And you might need a grown up to help you with this part. And you just kind of twist it into the top of your bottle. If you need to, you can get a skewer to help kind of poke it in there. You don't wanna poke it in 
too, too far. You have to poke it in all the way. There we go. And then you are ready to take your hummingbird feeder outside and hang it in a tree, hopefully close to a window where you can see some hummingbirds visiting. You see how it starts to drip out that hummingbird food? And hopefully some hummingbirds will visit your neighborhood. We'll see you again next time. Thank you.